Okay, yeah, you have already for uh, in percent uh, attendance call first by using writing present in the chat room. Now we would like to start for lecture today uh, by a uh, topic of competition and as well as um, that you like on the side. Mm -hmm. This is a content uh, complete for earthquake movement. Earthquake uh, measurement, yeah. Measurement that are as we have here is a uh, the magnetic uh, energy of the strong source of earthquake happening. Actually, the case is not for uh, the point and like. Uh, uh, like a blast, yeah. yeah. But this looks like that room or the space like that, and but uh, represented by the point. Name is center, yeah. Center, uh, center, center by using uh, start and this only the single. Measurement for an art happening, and then here there's a hypocenter, and if the wave uh, propagates and spread anywhere, and including go to the surface, so we call it here the place that above the hypocenter is epicenter of earthquake. So that may long to gain and and, and uh, the position by GPS usually uh, stayed in the newspaper if there is an earthquake, a significant earthquake there. Uh, after uh, reaching the the surface, the wave also uh, uh, propagate until uh, this very weeks, yeah, very weeks until we can and we can and we can, yeah. Weaker and weaker and weaker until the place that we are going to uh, design uh, maybe a infrastructure or a building. Uh, we call it here the measurement is intensity right? using the magnified mercury. Well, the sources of energy here uh, measure by the scale of magnitude. If you have a scale for 6.5 or below, uh, you will uh, have uh, uh, the the number is for example six point five six point zero uh, richer scale or m equal r five point zero r richer scale. But if above six point five, usually only seven point zero, seven point two, six point nine, etc. Then uh, it is on a single right. And if use uh, use uh, uh, intensity, we, we use the number from 1 to uh, 12, but there is no digital comma after that. There is no 
sama after the after, uh, the number ya yeah. the integer number eh uh, in an earthquake happening we have uh, many uh, intensity scale and depending on the place where you are I would like because the intensity here here is different yeah it's different so then last thing that you also have the summon of the seismicity yes yeah, is the, the energy measurement that release from the sources of arc Uh, many many uh, have earthquake happenings in a certain areas and a certain uh, period of times. This we have three one is magnitude two is intensity and, and uh, the last thing number three is uh, uh, seismicity. Now we focus on the uh, intensity that related to the uh, ground parameters. Right? And for example, you have already uh, study about the uh, acceleration, displacement, velocity, and velocity, yeah. We also can um, the content, response spectrum, and region. So all of these are the parameter of the motion. And, and uh, so today we would like to uh, study about how uh, the phenomenon, how uh, the, the, the wave are propagated until We, we can use it for uh, the concept. I mean, the concept of the propagation can be used for our design and uh, building as well as uh, other infrastructures uh, form. Okay, next we would like to uh, see the another uh, over here. Here is the other picture that's very useful for us to compare between earthquake and light. Yeah. In the vibration, we, we know about the source here. And for earthquake, for example, 100 watts arm, but maybe 7.0 magnitude of earthquake. Yeah. And if uh, this propagates and lets us spread everywhere, everywhere, yeah, it everywhere. And Become uh, weaker and weaker, yeah, lighten and lighten. There is a movement of force from source. We have the weaken and weaken, yeah. And we will uh, know that this a uh, phenomenon called as a uh, as an uh, attenuation phenomenon. Attenuation means atten to attenuate, to reduce, yeah, to to, to lighten, smaller. Yeah. Smaller number. For example, if you have a earthquake, so in, in, in light year there is a 100 lumens maybe used or maybe a 9 uh, mmi, yeah, but mercury intensity. And then as if we go or uh, if the 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 the, the uh, wave uh, propagates more and more and far and far, then becomes smaller and smaller for the scale of mmi for intensity, right? And become the last one here becomes very far and maybe in some place you will not uh, feel any uh, feel a uh, movement any anymore yeah because the 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 uh, uh, waves of earthquake will uh, reduce and reduce until there is a finish zero yeah more and more zero so we call it The phenomenon here as a uh, attenuation. This is the topic today for attenuation. And we later will try to uh, explain what how to use that function. Okay, and then we can uh, we 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 uh, continue for uh, having uh, no more or having no more, but Attenuation. Attenuation. See from the another source system. From YouTube, I have a YouTube. Yeah. And see the uh, 
clearer explanation about the what all we call it animation. Here is a okay, oh, it's not in the pain eh? here. Uh, here is there is a two picture here with the left and the right side. So for the left side, and we uh, view it and from above, yeah, above to the ground. So from above. I have looked like that we imagine that we are bird, see from the sky to the earth. Yeah. And here, uh, the below us, we, there is a tree here. There is below us, there is a source of earthquake. And the line here is a, a, a fault of earthquake, maybe, but if not subduction because there is a uh, land and, uh, and the main land. There is the station position. Station one is uh, very close to the earthquake sources, and the second one is the station number two, are far from the, uh, the earthquake source here. So there is a that the station one is uh, near, nearer than the station two, or as uh, vice versa. Then we would like to say that station two are far from. Station one, the distance of station two from the sources are uh, larger than the distance of the sources from station number one. Okay, and then uh, from here, we would like to see what happened. This is the, 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 the circle here. So the thick of the, the circle here uh, represent the strength of the strength of the, uh, the, the vibration, uh, strength of the vibration of the earth. So the, the thicker, so the stronger. Okay, we start. Now we focus only on the left uh, picture here. Okay, you will see here that uh, there is a, a, a wave propagates, spread, yeah, and uh, everywhere to the place in, this, in the uh, surface of Earth. From the station here to become stand here, but we call it that here we see it that the 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 the, the circle here is red and thinner and thinner, yeah. Thinner and thinner. This is thicker. The thickest one is the closest one, and then thinner and thinner. We call it here as a isosesmal. Yeah? The, the, the intensity are uh, measure and uh, up, big, uh, and and plot to the the graph, yeah? so M intensity. So you know that this, the 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 the, the strength, uh, the strength of the vibration, so become weaker and weaker. So we call it the phenomenon here at uh, at attenuation, attenuation. Okay, and attenuation, of course, there is smaller and smaller. Yeah? Like and we imagine in the bulb or the light of bulb, yeah, that uh, make a sign and uh, light a uh, light for a room and if you if you use your position close to the lamp to the light of course you'll be get the brightest one but if you go to the uh, uh, far away from the bulb of lights and will get a uh, dark yeah? and darker and darker so I mean there's a attenuate yeah attenuation okay now we try to have a cross section of this one from the uh, left uh, picture. For example, if we uh, cut here, so the result is this. Uh, here, see, there's a cut. For example, here, this is the sources here, the source of earthquake, and this is, is the tree, the tree is here. Yeah? And this is the line or the track. There is a crack here, yeah. and we have also station. Also station, yeah. the station number one. This is station number one. This is 
Question two, number two. That's right. And we try to uh, uh, continue to make uh, animation about the uh, wave propagates or uh, move from source of earthquake to pick up to anywhere, anywhere in the surface of our. Okay, we try to continue. Uh, we try to uh, focus on the right plots here. Right plot here, see here, there is a gum far here. So the cross uh, station here, we have a very big measurement of amplitude here. Yeah. For example, acceleration, very uh, large, uh, this larger, yeah, larger magnitude, amplitude, yeah. This is the smaller because this is far from the this from the earthquake. Yeah, this is this is a closer. Yeah, but this is far. Yeah, the distance is different. So more distant, so we will get a smaller amplitude of this. We call it as an amplitude uh, an attenuation um, phenomenon. So if we put if we plot, for example, this is the intensity of earthquake. It. So there is strong, yeah. It will go up strong, but it's zero, for example. And the axis here is the uh, abscess, yeah. The abscess here is the distance, for example, we call it R, distance, yeah. Kilometer, for example. It could be uh, miles, yeah, miles or kilometers. So it look like that the uh, the graph, uh, the, the relationship between the intensity L and the distance, so it become distant far, and then there is a less uh, intensity. So I mean the vibration are weaker and weaker. Yeah? So this is the uh, general attenuation. Now we continue to the other one. Is that the, the attenuation attenuation rule? Yeah, at this attenuation, attenuation phenomenon, here rules of all the condition. Of course not, because not always that the far distance of uh, position from the earthquake sources is the smaller. It's not not always like that. So there is a different uh, phenomenon. What is? Okay, I'll show you. Uh, uh, for the next mission, uh, movie here, video or movie, movie, you can see, yeah, okay. So, the call it that we sometimes, if we uh, would like, uh, if we have a, a Vibration and vibrate, and we, we vibrate this one for far away. It's not always and weaker and weaker, yeah. Weaker and weaker is not always. For example, see here there are two plots. The 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 the, the, the first plot, the top plot here, the top plot here, are uh, as the the view from the uh, sky. If we have, if we if we imagine that we are a bird that we see here from both this a valley and river, yeah, river and valley. There's a mountain. Is this is the the place that uh, the earthquake uh, happened here? So on the top figure here, I'll con I'll uh, run the animation. Yeah. So here you can see that this is not strong enough, but come here stronger and stronger. Yeah, stronger, stronger, and then become weaker and weaker again. Yeah, so in this valley here, there is a phenomenon called as a, an amplification. So the the opposite from attenuation, to amplify to make it stronger. Yeah, to make it uh, uh, stronger and bigger. Yeah, bigger, bigger scale, bigger scale. Okay, and back to uh, test again. But this is the rule of the general attenuation 
uh, does not apply for this phenomenon. This call it as an amplification. Now, there is the in the bottom here. So the bottom uh, plot here, yeah. There is a an an, an, an cross section of the plot for uh, the top top figures. Is uh, let me uh, oh, okay. So if we cut here, yeah, we get cross section here. So and then we can get this one. So this is the valley, the river here, river. This is valley. This is mountain. This is the source of earthquake here. Yeah. And again, you can see here that as the uh, vibration uh, move, move or vibrate or, or, or propagates, if we call it propagates, yeah moving from to go to the valley so the, the the vibration become stronger and stronger not weaker and weaker but stronger and stronger until some time that random become weaker and very weak here and diminish and will uh, not feel anymore there so there are two phenomena first is first is attenuation and the second one is uh, amplification it's, Okay, ah, uh, you know about the what we call two two, uh, two phenomena, yeah, amplification and uh, attenuation. What for? Uh, why we should study about amplification, for example? I'll show you here. Here is the one of the ones using uh, the application of deduction uh, and amplification uh, phenomena concept. Here is Indonesia. And this is the map of the hazard, earthquake hazard. So for the red one here, red become red become black ops, yeah. Very the strongest one. And the, the light blue here is the lighter one, and the light, so there's the weakest one. Like in Kalimantan, there are only small uh, influence on impact of our step four, uh, crossing the Pontianak here. There is a Orokotun Manglan Pun here also, have a, uh, we call Altia. So in Banjarmasin, close to Banjarmasin, the Barito River, yeah. also to the south, Amrita uh, River. There's also some place in Kalimantan that has a stronger probability for any other uh, places in the Kalimantan. So, well, of course, it's many, many things, and, and this is the global condition. But I will show you here. Important is how to use amplification and uh, attenuation concept for, uh, for us. Okay, next. Um, uh, so the, the, the pressure is for the um, finding or collecting the document of earthquake. The beginning and the document document for our pitch are collected and then analyzed. Yeah. We analyze uh, to find out the the, the uh, faults for the Cesar in Indonesia. Cesar the source of earthquake in Pinitas. Pinitas. Yeah, in Pinitas in on the tectonic plates. Yeah. And, Breaks move and then collides each other, maybe or maybe uh, making in, uh, or or maybe just uh, the same uh, different 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 uh, of course, or opposite, opposite, but there is no movement for 
radical so it's a shear movement too maybe fault or maybe normal yeah there is a normal so, uh, reverse uh, reverse mean this is look like in slow c yeah this then slow c and look back to apply what for the concept of attenuation so a lot of uh, for new level attenuation actually not for attenuation now you know if you try to find out in the google search will see many many uh maybe hundreds of formula for uh finding, yeah for uh using the uh, attenuation but uh, formula any formula and the formula and you're here right there huh? will be used for uh, making attenuate to, to, to make it the, the, the hazard map which one the hazard the stronger hazard and which one the little lighter hazard and with we make it like uh, spectrum two yeah from the hardest to the, to the weakest so this see here and then our step three is uh, uh, also the attenuation yeah? and this is a uh, Run parameters, and then this is the the, the system. So will reduce the reduce. We mean there is the name as a attenuation model, yeah, attenuation model. And do see here also combine combine with the uh, seismicity. Because in seismicity you have already uh, practice to calculate or to plot the 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 the, the line here yeah the line here this is the magnitude this is log scale of the number of earthquakes in a certain phase and earn certain uh, yeah, period duration so we call it here is probabilistic yeah probabilistic seismic hazard analysis in Indonesia analysis risiko gempa probabilistik. So for having peak ground acceleration, peak ground acceleration mean uh, there is acceleration that, uh, that probable is maximum for the place that you would like to uh, design a building. Yeah, it if you know about the maximum acceleration, and then you can uh, multiply by the mass, so you will have the uh force of earthquake or earthquake force to design the your building yeah. for uh graffiti force is no problem for you because it's already constant but for the earthquakes uh, acceleration is not constant constant and the movement is not only in one direction but also uh using uh around it or vice versa and then and then go for forward and backward yeah backward forward north and south yeah east and west up and down simultaneously yeah. simultaneously okay and then you will find there is also the uh many many uh formula for attenuation yeah so there is attenuation. I will see later after the film, and then we'll see attenuation. In this one, we would like to here, for example, if there is an attenuation here, and then we calculate by long, long calculation because it needs many, many uh, memorize in the computer. Maybe also be using for the super computer like that you have to calculate it to find out the. To, to know that there is very, uh, very much, very the highest, very high. Yeah, for example, you saying the violet here. Yeah. Oh, violet, yeah, purple, purple, maybe. Then red, big reddish, black reddish, yeah. And then red, red, then become uh, the, 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 the lighter, lightest one. Yeah. The weakest one is using the gray area here. 
So the blue and then gray. Speak. And so you can uh, now the approximate the force of earthquake in anywhere in Indonesia. Got the use? Apply the formula for attenuation and amplification. There is different between uh, more the, 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 the different uh, soil condition. For example, if you you have a more uh, soil condition that is very stiff or maybe a rock, yeah, strong, yeah, there's no problem. But if if you soft, yeah, if you have the soft uh, soil and very weak, you will get more uh, force or earthquake for your building that you are designed. Okay. Uh, this is the example of using for using the, um, of the uh, concept of uh, attenuation. Ah, uh, here there are four uh, step for being. PSHA, yeah? probability seismic hazard analysis. Okay, to make sure that you are following me, uh, please write down your present in your chat. Present. Okay, type your present. Yeah? Make sure that you are following me. Yeah? Okay, next. And there's a first step here. There is a sources, yeah. Many sources you have to this mean maybe this is for line or for height or source of area. Maybe there is a source of area is different, uh, different shapes also. And the recurrent using seismicity, this one using seismicity, the curve, yeah line because this is log scale so there is a right here if not because if this is not using log if this is not using logarithmic scale here so will be like this one yeah okay and the other one is the attenuation applying attenuation uh, formula this is for example the ground motion so from this uh, the short distance from the is very high, yeah. The highest uh, ground motion strength, yeah. Then becomes a weaker and weaker, yeah. Weaker, weaker as the distance uh, larger. Then the last thing, yeah, number four is probabilistic of the ground motion, then probabilistic of accidents, yeah. As for example. This is the building for 100 year, maybe 1% uh, having earthquake, getting earthquake then greater than this scale. So one is about uh, probability. So this is the source. This is the probability for the distance and geometry of the source of earthquake. And this is the Mm, flow chart finding the PSA probability section hazards. So you have to distinguish between all of the sources, yeah, for uh, source figure, yeah, and, and then you have to segmentize, yeah, segmentation, yeah, to make segments. For example, there is a venue, there is a uh, mega trust, you know, mega trust here, mega trust. And this is the zona of Peño, we call it, in the was uh, below the Prashaman in Jogja here. You have the sources here in just below us. It's below, yeah. This is for the cluster of Siapa of Peño. Peño means not in subduction. Then there is also the cello cluster. Because there is a there are 
uh, sources. Okay. Uh, okay, then. Here is the, for example, yeah, uh, the, 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 the correction of segmentized yeah, to segmentized. For example, here from the Lassen fault, Marang fault, Pak fault, Jenkins fault, Peribis yeah, fault, Bandung fault, Lembang, and Sukabumi, or we call it Cimandiri faults here. So there are many sources. Then if we combine before, only using the uh, sources from the subduction tunes, you will have the uh, top figures here. But if you include also uh, to adopt, uh, adopt uh, the effects of cellocrustal, for example, this is from Mandiri, Baribis, Lemba, here is Opa, this is Marang. So we'll have different from Jiwa. Yeah. It's of course, this must more realistic because uh, the, the map here, uh, the map, the, the top one, uh, have been made uh, before, long before the uh, the fault year are 1885. Now, after 2017, 2017, a lot of sources identified for RK faults. So you will have more accurate for making the hazard donation tune. Or this is the hazard donation. So in Java Island, if you input also the more here for the 10% probabilities during the for 500 years, for example, or we call it in 50 years, yeah, we just have to understand so it looks like that the return period of earthquake is about 500, period of 2.0 spectral of 0 0.2. So look like this one. So if you decide where you are, decide. Not Jakarta, so Jakarta is different. Bandung is different, yeah. Me and you, and then we are different. And if you uh, decide from Prambanan and also in, uh, here in um, Monjali, for example, yes, it's different because there are different probabilistic of a uh, big ground acceleration. Or maybe if you would like to uh, calculate for the surface. Uh, Acceleration you can do is also to accommodate with the soil condition. Okay, so this one the color uh, represent the strong of the uh, vibration. Um, Output is very big if you if the person is one G, one uh, one uh, gravitation uh, unit. Yeah, uh, we think that the mass, uh, the, the weight is one hundred tons. For example, if you have G mean, you have to design the building uh, in the horizontal force promoted for one hundred thousand uh, one hundred tons too. But if on the 10% of gravitation, so you have only to accommodate the force of earthquake about 10% from 100,000 mean, 100 ton mean, about uh, 10 ton force. Here is the seismic hazard map in 2010. But if you find it in 2017, yeah, you will have different because more faults have been identified. Maybe if we have more identified, and then we'll be we'll have different again. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So depend on the source that you can. Okay, next we would like to continue about the uh, explanation and more detail, but in English too. 
is the from USGS. From USGS. That is the yeah. is it still here? Is it more wrong or being? for some time to uh, this is the from Dr. Jerry Peterson from USGS United States Geological Survey. I will make presentation about uh, presentation about the 3D uh, hazard map and uh, the concept of apply uh, the applying of the concept of Actually, the case here in the United States because Dr. Terry Terry Peterson of uh, the in uh, USGS are uh, owned by uh, America, yeah, United States of America. They say. <clears throat> I'll share also the sound, computer sound. Okay, we continue now. This is a USGS hazard map for the central United States showing the series seismic network and some major metropolitan areas in the area. So normally when we see red lines like this in the seismic hazard map, we would see mountains and volcanoes that say this area is seismically active. We don't have that, but if you just look at eight years worth of accurately located earthquakes, these cubes, we can actually see, kind of get an image of the fault. This is a large fault that stretches towards Memphis, uh, about 40 miles away from Memphis. This is the fault uh, the, called the real foot thrust fault. When it ruptured last in 1812, it created the largest natural body of water in the state of Tennessee. So these earthquakes accurately located give us an idea of the size of the fault, and the size of the fault gives us an idea of the maximum credible earthquake that occur could occur on those. One of the most important issues facing scientists in the central United States is to get a good grasp of how energy, seismic energy decreases in the deep crust with increasing distance from the source. We know that the attenuation, the, the loss of energy with increasing distance from the source is very low here compared to California. So the central United States is like a hard cold slab that allows seismic energy to travel great distances. As opposed to California, the deep rocks are relatively shattered and hot where uh, seismic energy dies out rather quickly. So when we hear reports from 1811 and 1812 that Central United States earthquakes were felt 1,200 miles away in Canada, it's, it's very hard for a lot of people to believe. Scientists in the Central United States, we have to pinch ourselves too when we think about this. Because in California, you have a large earthquake, it's, it's usually not felt much 250 miles away in Las Vegas. Earthquakes in the Central United States are much different. But that also sheds a different light on, the, um, on our ability to plan. So if a large earthquake occurs here, we don't want to see many different cities and many different states competing for the same resources. So it's important to plan ahead for this kind of high consequence, low probability disaster. They don't happen that often, but when they do happen, they affect much larger areas than similar magnitude events in California. Uh This is a USGS ha hazard map for the central oh, United States uh, showing the series size uh, network is a 3D and some major metropolitan areas. We, we have the only area. usually so are 1D, Normally, L2D, when we see 2D, red lines 2D, like this, the seismic hazard, we would see mountains of, uh, and volcanoes that maps. say this now area is seismically have active. Three we don't have that, map. but if you just look at eight uh, years worth of, of accurately located earthquakes, so you can see here that you have sources of earthquake and then identify and did you know the hypocenter? This is the point point of hypocenter. It's 3D. So we need us. We need the surface. Yeah. In the 
and the body of uh, an art, uh, the body of the art. This is the uh, hypocentral. We so can actually hypocentral. see, kind of get an image of the fault. Well, you can this see if there's a fault yeah, Memphis, and then you uh, can go, about 40 uh, apply, miles away from uh, and then you can this is the identify fault, uh, the this color. one. And this is, for example, uh, if there is a, 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 a cluster of hypocenter here, means that the hypocenter here is the location of the uh, faults. Yeah? I mean, there is faults here so, because the, the, the arrangement is close to each other. Yeah? So we can see the, so, oh, 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 far, how big of the faults on the source of our earthquake and place that dislocate, yeah? uh, because of uh, 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 or after the, the movement of uh, after there is a uh, after the occasion uh, or um, of earthquakes. So to identify the the uh, faults is using the uh, earthquake record. So it's very good here because there is three dimension. Yeah. Three dimension. You can see with us in the earth there is a hypocenter that there is arrangement exclusive in other mean that there is there are there are and one an area of uh, faults. The real foot thrust fault, when it ruptured last in 1812, it created the largest natural body of water in the state of Tennessee. So these earthquakes accurately located give us an idea of the size of the fault, and the size of the fault gives us an idea of the maximum oh, credible earthquake. Uh, you can see after there is a, a recording here, yeah, three day, and we have already um, keeping and plot in the three D. You can see the whole, whole size of the fault of the source of it. that maybe happen for our next time. <laughs> Did it could occur on those. One of the most important issues facing scientists in the central United States is to get a good grasp of how energy, seismic energy decreases in the deep crust with increasing distance from the source. We know that the attenuation. The content, uh, this is the concept of the attenuation in the, uh, in the reality. Source from sources that the vibration or uh, the movement are uh, weaker and weaker. Isn't it, uh, Dr. Uh, the, the presenter told us that there is a attenuation phenomenon. The loss of energy with increasing distance from the it source smaller, is smaller. very low here compared to California. This is the example for the, so uh, the century United California States is place. like a hard, cold slab. On the close here, in the red one is the close for the as opposed to California, mm, the deep rock epicenter, really the hypocenter. And, hot, and the yellow the is the out uh, weaker. Uh, so when we hear weaker. reports from 18 where uh, so a yellow weaker here. here. And then become clean, weaker again, and then uh, Blue is the weaker one, and then the gray is the weakest. So this from there is a here there is an expect to do, yeah. There is a different uh, st strength, yeah, different movement uh, of the face and become the smaller and smaller, or uh, weaker and weaker as far as the distance far from the source of our state. This is the concept of uh, attenuation rather quickly so when we hear reports from 1811 1812 that yeah in the new madrid call because the new madrid says you know close to the 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 the, the, the merger yeah with point that the point of the uh mississippi River and Missouri River. There is a place we call it Cairo, yeah? where the, 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 the two, uh, two uh, uh, before, uh, uh, Mexico and this is upper center. The, the 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 maximum of the intensity is 10 yeah it's 10 it should be even if earthquake uh, resistant building it be uh, maybe it could be uh uh maybe it was very heavy 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 uh damage yeah? 
if not strong enough, is not earthquake, not using earthquake uh, uh, concept design. Of course, yeah, will also be of course they will destroy what the scale of ten, nine even is very eleven, nine, ten, nine, yeah, yeah. So we come weaker and weaker. But this is the isosceles model. Then the place where the uh, the intensity are still the same, yeah, same. The same scale of intensity and we connect. This is uh, look like that. This is uh, uh, or original and this original for the uh, isosesmal. This is like it. actually that the isosesmal is not uh, look like that. But of course, this is 200 years ago uh, earthquake. Yeah, if you would like to collect the detail data, it's not easy. Very difficult very much um, expensive, maybe longer time. So actually that it could be like this one, yeah? Ah, yeah. So this one like this one, yeah? So it's not like this one, yeah? And some place maybe become like this one too, yeah? There is also something that is, for example, this scale of whatever here. So that scale here, because, because there is a, a, a amplification. Some place there is an amplification. Actually, this is not, not merely, not really. And this is the uh, look like this very smooth. This one, maybe like this one. Yeah, maybe some. Yeah. So there's here, for example, is there is a big earthquake. This stronger here. Even this is far, yeah, and then this one, but this still big. Yeah. Even this is in Canada. Yeah, it reach the Canada still have a. Mm, earthquake in the measure of one, one in uh, still strong enough. This is a uh, South Carolina, Virginia, and this in the place here at Kentucky, yeah, Kentucky, and then uh, the other one is Chicago, Indiana, and then Pennsylvania, yeah, Pennsylvania, and there the uh, New York, yeah. New York, and then going up. Uh, up of Quebec in Canada. They so still have a, a feel. The people still have a, the, the feel. The, the earthquake is very far, about uh, 2,500 2, miles, I mean about 4,000 4, kilometers. Yeah. 400 kilometers, 100 kilometers deep. No, no, I think more. Yeah, 4,000 kilometers. Yes, 4,000 kilometers still uh, uh, felt about the, the earthquake that happened in New Madrid. Very big, actually. Very big. 200 years ago. This legend. Yeah, this is earthquake legend. It was very big. But this is uh, the, the source at uh, the, the place that rarely earthquake happened. Yeah. Maybe there's a, uh, many uh, energy happened there, and the the, the, the the tectonic plate is very strong, and then become and, uh, the energy is very big, very much big, and then uh, allow and offer 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 uh, offer scale, and the, the 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 tectonic is not enough strength at the time, and then become release for the energy because the 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 the, uh, the, the Tectonic will break, yeah. Big damage and become a big, very big earthquake. This is the latest earthquake in the United States. In intensity, we have to say this, the Pennsylvania, the New York here is still there. Massachusetts, Ontario, and the Canada. Because in California, you have a large California, yes. Usually it's not, but not as big as Earthquakes in the central United States are much different, but that also sheds a different light on the uh, on our ability to plan. So if a large earthquake occurs here, we don't want to see many different cities and many different states competing for the same resources. Yes. So it's important to plan ahead for this oh, kind this of one. high consequence, low to, probability disaster. Uh, they don't happen this, that often. This, when they do happen, this, yeah. 
okay and then the 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 oh and you like to you can and then scroll here you have to be like the code ah Then go to IIE and the keyword is Texas. Texas number of attending list as student last name as your student last name. Send to the send assistant to my sender and back up to the spot person. Must hurry, most yeah. That's all about this one. And the last thing here because the time is limited now, so I'm still finished now. And then you have to be hurry to here about one two minutes ago oh, yeah only texas i yeah, texas attendance your name your number and then your and to and to what uh, person okay next uh, we have to uh, the last thing with the protocol elastic is the presence yeah. at the uh, yes Is see the percentage when you say automatic. And products of art. This one, take seven, nine, one is a million. There is amplification because of the resonance, yeah. It's seismic. That's good. Okay, I scan it. The more of you, uh, this one. Okay, I'll. Uh, sorry, sir. Yeah. The screen not changed, sir. Okay, yeah, now it's already. Okay, take it. Yeah. Okay.